What's up YouTube, this is Print Practical. Whether you just got a new roll of filament or you want to maximize the quality of the filament that you currently have loaded into your printer, I'm going to bring you through the steps to manually calibrate your flow dynamics and flow rate on your Bamboo P1S or P1P printers. I currently have a roll of Hatchbox Orange PLA loaded up in the printer. This Hatchbox filament is pretty old, but I'm gonna use it as an example of how to go through this calibration process. Let's hop over to the computer. All right, so first we're gonna start out with doing the manual flow dynamics calibration. So you can go over to the calibration tab in Bamboo Studio and then hit manual calibration. Here you'll wanna make sure that you set your nozzle diameter, 0.4 is the stock. For the plate type, make sure that you select your correct plate type. The first time that I ever did this calibration, it was set to the cool plate, and my printer comes with the textured plate, so just make sure you change that. And then I am using Hatchbox PLA, which I do not have a profile for, so I'm using the generic PLA profile. And the default settings are good enough, so I'm gonna hit calibrate. This just sent a job to the printer, which is gonna print something similar to what you see on the screen. It's going to print with different K values and just a straight line. We're gonna try and find the most consistent line and that gives us our K value for the filament. The flow dynamics calibration has finished and this is what it came out with. I'm gonna take a few close up pictures of this and then we'll go back to the computer and talk about it. All right, here's a close up picture of the calibration. Let's start all the way from the top and work our way down. Let me zoom in here. So as you can see, we have some inconsistencies here up top. Same here, we got a break here, gets a little fat. As we're getting further down, we're starting to get a much more consistent line. We're still seeing some issues here, a little bit here. This line, which is 0 0.02, looks almost perfect. It looks pretty good. Um, the line below that, there's a little thinness here. It's less severe on the 0 0.2 or 0 0.02. Um, and then as you can see, as we get lower here, we're starting to get some more deformation and some more thinning spots here. So from this picture and this calibration, we're gonna say that our value is 0 0.02. So if we go back here, we hit next, and then it says, you know, find the line that's the most consistent, 0 0.02 finish and then if we go to our device tab you can see that it already updated our k value with our new calibration value okay so now flow rate calibration once again select manual calibration we're going to do a complete calibration select your nozzle diameter if it has changed make sure that you select your correct build plate once again and we're doing the generic pla hit calibrate the flow rate calibration is going to take about 30 minutes and as you can see it's going to print this 3x3 grid using different flow rates. Once the calibration is finished we're going to feel them with our finger for smoothness along with visually examining them to make sure that we can find the perfect flow rate setting. It's probably pretty hard to tell on camera but negative 10 through negative 20 not good. These are pretty rough to the feel so 10 through 20 out. This one looks a little iffy. It is pretty smooth, but it's got some under extrusions here. So I'm going to say no to that. And between these two, after further examination, these two look almost identical. I think that five is a little bit smoother. So we're going to go with five. So I'm going to click next here and we're going to go with five. And then we're going to hit calibrate. It looks like the second calibration for flow rate is going to take another 30 minutes. This is my first time doing this. Typically I do the first calibration and then I skip the more fine version of it. But, you know, I'm going to do it for the video, so it's going to be another 30 minutes. Starting at the bottom here, these are a little bit rough to the touch, though not very bad at all. Visibly, you can see that these may be a little under extruded here. These are all starting to get to look pretty darn close. This feels really good. And that feels really good too. I'm gonna have to say zero is the winner. I'm gonna hit next, make it zero. And this is the name of our preset, which we're gonna make this Hatchbox video. Oh, 
and I should mention that this is PLA. All right, everything is saved. All right, that's it. Your printer is calibrated for your filament. Go enjoy that awesome print quality that you get out of these bamboo printers.